Okay, write 0 0.2 as a fraction reduced to lowest terms. Okay, how do you do that? Well, 0, 0 0.2. How do we write that as a fraction? Well, remember, remember, remember the name of this spot? This is the tenths place, isn't it? Remember, this is the ones place. This is the tenths place. Okay, so, okay, so, so what? Well, that means this number is two tenths. Does that make sense what I did there so far? Because, because of where the decimal ends and the name of the ending place, that's the tenths place, that means this is two tenths. Okay, and now we have to reduce it. So how do we reduce it? Well, divide top and bottom by two. And that is one fifth. One fifth like that. There we go. Now, let me try another one. Does somebody else have one? They can uh, want to share theirs and then I'll do another. I want to do another one for practice. Somebody I have a lot. Oh, no, ring. Sorry. Anybody want, want, just tell me what yours is and I'll do yours. Anybody? I went to number four and mine is it's bigger. Number four, that one also a fraction. Yeah, let's um, let's do it. Um, here, I'll do my number four also. That sounds really good. Let's let's do it. It is bigger. You're right. All right, and then I'll do number four also. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So how about this one? So 0 0.054, same kind of thing, right of fraction. Now, how, how do we do it? Well, it's the name of the place. So remember, the, the first place after the decimal is the tenths place. The next place is the hundredths place. And the next place is the thousandths place, right? So this is... 54, you don't need zero, zero, that doesn't, if you wrote zero, zero, that doesn't really do anything. It's still just 54 over, over what? A thousand. So you put it over the, the name of the last place. It's 54 thousands because of where it ends. It ends in the tens, hundreds, thousands place. So far, so good. Then we got to reduce it still. But is that making sense so far? It's all about the name of the ending place. If it goes three places. Oh, and the other way you can do it is you can just count the places and that's the number of zeros. See how this three decimal places, three zeros on the bottom, which means a thousand. Three decimal places, three zeros on the bottom. That's another way you can do the same thing. So it ends in the third place, tenths, hundreds, thousands. So we put a thousand on the bottom. Okay, now let's reduce this. So use your calculator, divide by two top and bottom. I'm getting 27 over 500 and that's it. We can't, you, we can't divide by two or anything else anymore. This is 27 over 500, like that. And you can double check it on your calculator. You can type into your calculator 27 divided by 500, hit equals and it'll, it'll change it back to the decimal 0.054. Just like that. So there we go.